Hi, I'm Joseph Palmersheim. Welcome to the new Sun Current Today daily webcast, bringing you the latest news for Apple Valley, Burnsville, Egan, Lakeville, and Rosemont. A joint effort between the Lakeville Police Department and a local bank is allowing citizens to help pay for a new police dog. Let's take a look. If the money keeps coming, Shadow here could have some company. Area residents have donated several thousand dollars towards covering the $15,000 cost of purchasing and training a new Lakeville police dog. The department has two canines, Shadow, pictured here with his handler, Officer Chad Loeffler, and Blue. After seven years as an award-winning police dog, Blue is ready for retirement. We've been very fortunate to partner up with m &I Bank. Uh, they've stepped up with their local branch and their corporate marketing uh, to assist us in and a lot of the different things that we're doing for fundraising. So our goal is $15,000 and we'll take a look in the middle of September where we're at for fundraising because the majority of our big events are coming up here in August and then in the middle of September we'll evaluate where we're at and see what we got to do for the rest of the year. But um, as of now it's going really well. we got a big thing coming up this Friday, uh, Movies in the Park fundraiser. So like I said, well, middle of September we'll evaluate where we're at and see where we need to go from there. Historically, the uh, canine, the startup cost for purchasing a new canine and uh, all the costs associated with that have been covered through donations. And uh, because uh, um, his costs have increased uh, over the years, uh, we really had to start a little bit earlier than usually. We can all, we could almost go at the time that the, um, we were acquiring the new dog and, and go to the community. But because uh, this cost is a little bit higher, we're looking for up to $15,000 um, to do this. That, uh, we want to start a little bit earlier. M and I Bank, uh, the local branch, uh, adopted the canine program as their local fundraising uh, effort, and, and has helped us to coordinate a, a lot of these effort, a lot of these uh, endeavors. Um, the the dogs have a, a certain working life cycle, and that can range anywhere from an average of six to eight years. So what we're trying to do is make sure that we have the funds available when uh, our dogs need to be replaced, and so that's why we're trying to. Uh, raise the money now. Blue is going to be uh, coming into February or March. Blue will have seven years on the street. Um, he's had an extraordinary career and I've learned, you know, I owe a lot of my success and Shadow's success to the help from Brigham and Blue, um, whether it's been at trials or out on the street. Uh, I owe a lot of success to the things that they've done and the things we've learned from them. So, um, I think he's had an awesome career and uh, he'll be able to live uh, the good life in retirement. Well, the initial cost for the dog is roughly, last year was $7,500 expect it would probably go up a little bit this year. You know, and that includes, of course, all the shipping and handling costs going on from Eastern Europe. And of course, there's a middleman in there that takes their cut and stuff. But uh, you look at the initial $7,500, then the 12-week the training is going to be anywhere from $35 to $4,000. Um, so that gets you through that initial 12 weeks. But there's always the initial equipment, which includes leashes, muzzles, all that stuff's going to cost anywhere from $500 to $1,000, depending on what we get. Um, bite suits cost $1,000, sleeves are $150 each. Um, so there is a huge cost for this dog initially, and then there's a little bit as we go through, but all those costs add up. And that's why we're trying to get to that goal of $15,000. Again, that'll cover all the training, um, all the initial equipment costs, looking at a kennel and a cement slab for the officer's home um, for the canine. So there's a lot of costs into that dog. And then a year later, we send the dog back through our narcotics detector school, which will make them certified in narcotics detection or drug dog. And of course, there's more cost for that training and some of the equipment that they need for that as well. So, Our community's always been very supportive uh, yeah, since the very beginning when we uh, started with our, our canines in the, um, the mid-1980s. Um, our community's been really supportive of the dogs and, uh, and kind of has a connection with them, I think. I, I think that's pretty accurate to say, you know, that there's a, almost an affection for, for our dogs uh, in, in this community. And uh, whenever they go out and do demos, uh, it's by far one of the most popular uh, events that we have, uh, um, you know, when the dogs are performing and, and, uh, and uh, whether it's kids or adults, they really like that. Taking a look at local government and school board meetings tonight, the Burnsville City Council meets for a work session at 6.30 p.m. at Burnsville City Hall. The District 194 School Board meets at 7 p.m. in its district offices on 210th Street in Lakeville.
Finally, the Egan City Council will have a workshop at 5.30 p.m. at the Egan Municipal Center. Agendas for these meetings can be found on city and district websites. This can be Your weather underground forecast for the day calls for sunny skies with highs around 85 degrees. Tonight, expect clear skies with lows around 60. Tomorrow's forecast calls for mostly sunny skies with highs around 90 degrees. For Sun Current, I'm Joseph Palmersheim. From all of us here in the newsroom, thanks for watching.